guys, I am so sad. <laughs> I remembered that freaking TikTok was doing like a collaboration with Postmates and they were delivering like cloud bread and whipped coffee and like all of the TikTok famous treats. And so I wanted to order one, but I'm out of the delivery range and I really want to try the cloud bread because I tried to make cloud bread once and it was a total fail. It tastes like slimy egg poo. And so I was so excited and it's out of my delivery range and I can't get it. I'm so sad. Okay, so the cloud bread I can't get. I just found out I can get the bento box, which I've never even really seen bento boxes on TikTok, but I'm excited to try it. So I just ordered that and I'm so excited. So TikTok and Postmates, this has been going on for a while, by the way, I'm just old and late to the party. I think this is going on for two or three weeks, but they're doing cloud bread, whipped coffee, bento box, and pancake cereal. So I'm gonna try the bento box. I might even order the pancake cereal if I can get it today, but how fun that they're doing little TikTok trends. Postmates love this collab. So cute. I think my bento box just got here. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, and it says TikTok y things. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's go eat this yumminess. Oh my god, it came with the TikTok treats bag. Oh, how cute and fun. Oh my gosh, this is not sponsored. Wish it was. I wish Postmates or whatever this place is would sponsor me. TikTok treats. Cuteness. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, very po potent. But this is the bento box. How fun. I don't even know what this is. I've never seen this on TikTok. It looks delicious. I also got another like little bowl from there. Yummy, this keto bowl. It has like salmon and carrots and avocados and yumminess. It looks super good. But this is what's in the bento box. I don't even know what all that is. Like the other things that they do on the, the TikTok Postmates collaboration, they also have tiny like pancake cereal, whipped coffee, cloud bread, which I really wanna try, and this bento box. So they have these four things are is part of this promotion. This is the one I was like least interested in because I've never seen this on TikTok. I've seen cloud bread, I've seen pancake cereal, and I've seen whipped coffee, and obviously you guys know I drink whipped coffee like a crazy person. So this is new to me. I didn't know this was a thing on TikTok, but let's try it. Okay, so first the salad because I'm a healthy girl. So it does have raw salmon on it, which I'm a total fan of, but getting delivered raw fish just always makes me a little late. I'm gonna die. There's a lot of like scallions and onions, which is usually not my jam, but I'm gonna be open-minded today. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. This looks like an avocado, like tartare almost. Ooh, that is good actually. It's like very refreshing. Mmm, I'm scared. That's really interesting. It's weird eating food and having no idea what you're eating. You know what I mean? Like when you order food at a restaurant, it says every ingredient. So you're like, oh, I'm getting this salad and it has a raspberry vinaigrette and it has whatever. Like, But just going in and eating food that doesn't look familiar and not knowing what flavors to expect is really bizarre. So it takes a minute for me to be like, do I like this or not? Because at first my brain's just trying to go, wait, just trying to like identify what the food is. This is like a very zesty, it's like a tartare, but with avocado. And these almost taste like plantains to me. I don't know what these are, but they're freaking good. That's pretty good, very refreshing. I'm gonna go in for the noodles. They're like a black noodle. I don't know what other ingredients are in here. It looks like just veggies. I don't know. It's cool. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I feel like when I see noodles, I think they're gonna be warm. I'm not a big fan of like pasta salads because like I think noodles should be warm. I don't like noodles cold. That is not my jam. The flavors are really good, but just like the temperature of it makes me feel like. Okay, and this is rice. It's like a green rice, so I don't know what kind of rice it is. Avocados, edamame. I see some tuna, like raw tuna, and some like crunchy onions, like fried onions or something. It looks delicious. It's good. That's really good. Ooh, that's really good. Mmm, hello. Again, it's cold, which I wasn't expecting. And this could be because it was delivered from pretty far away. So it could have just all gotten cold. I feel like the noodles were intentionally cold though. Very good. Very interesting. I like it. How exciting. My mouth is like exploding with all these new flavors. 
question. Do you guys ever do laundry and then not fold the clothes for like a week and just have a pile of clothes that you really need to fold and put away, but you just don't because you don't have time? Is that just me? Am I just a mess? Because it happens to me a lot. Anyway, I need to fold my pile. So that's what I'm about to do. Are you helping me by excavating my clothes? Thank you for excavating my clothes for me. Can you help me fold something? Can you pick something up for me to fold? Whoa! So strong. Where are you taking that? Can you bring that back? Oh, thank you, pumpkin. Very helpful. Thank you. I thought this was one of my crop tops. It's one of Flynn's shirts. <laughs> See, pretty similar, kind of. Okay, now I have to put all this away and get dressed because it's almost four in the afternoon and I still haven't gotten dressed, so that's how my day is going so far. <laughs> no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, look at those big trucks. Yeah, and up, up a truck. Yeah, he goes up, 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 and he puts it in the truck. Oh, no, truck, no, truck. A garbage truck? A truck. Cement truck. A bee truck. A logging truck. Bee truck. Yeah. Bee and a bee. Bee. He just said bee. Oh my god. I've never heard him say that. Oh, that's so cute. Truck. What's this? Monster truck. Monster truck. Whoa. Whoa. This is one of Flynn's favorite books. Every time he opens it, he acts surprised like he's never wow. seen the pages before. Like he's always shocked to see the construction trucks. It's very cute. But it's time to decorate the Christmas tree, the red Christmas, it's gonna be the peppermint Christmas tree. That's what this one is. It's going here this year. Last year it was over in that corner. But today it's going here just because there's already a bush over there and you don't need more bushes where there's a bush and it's too heavy to move. So it's kind of a random spot, but it works. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do more Christmas decorations. Although my husband just cleaned up a lot, so I don't think he's gonna be very happy with me, but I wanna put up another tree. He's giving me a very dirty look. I'll clean it all up. Yeah. Yes, I will. I'll clean it, I love cleaning. Here it begins. Are you pooping? Good job. Okay, so this is how this works. You take these, and you put it on the tree. Do you want to help me? So you wrap it around the leaf like that. Do you want to try? Here, you get a new one. You got a new one. Which one do you want? You want that one? Okay, we have to get a hook for it. Okay, come here. I'll get you a hook. So now you put that on the tree. Can you go do that? Can you put it on the tree? Can you do it? Good job, pumpkin. Oh no! <laughs> you want to try? Here, I'll help you. Watch this. Put it on like this. It hooks on like that. What do you think? You wanna do more? Yeah, I know there's stuff on our feet. We'll vacuum after. Should we sweep it first? You wanna sweep it? We'll sweep up all this stuff and then we'll do this, okay? Good job. Here, try to put it on this one. Put it right here on this one. So hold it. Two hands. You did it, baby! You wanna do more? You want to do the big one? Yeah, up. Up, up? Okay. No, big up. You want big up? You want daddy to pick you up? Good boy. You did it. Look. You did it. It's a baby. It's a baby one, yeah. We tried to do a handprint and it was a total fail. But I love it so much. So cute. Flynn, it's time to turn on the Christmas tree. Should we turn it on? No. Flynn, turn it on? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in. That was it. Oh, there it goes. Wow. What do you think? You see a truck? You see a truck? Yeah. Don't touch. It's a truck on 
I know now I'm like, do I need to order truck ornaments? Yeah. You have a truck tree? Don't give me any ideas, Flynn. I have enough Christmas stuff in this house. No, I didn't, but I just turned on my camera right, like a millisecond after my mom said the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. With emotion, there was emotion. But she also said it as though like we would be like, oh, cool. There's so many She just why. said, can I say you don't want me to repeat? She said, I just ordered organizers for a drawer and a urinal for me to travel with. But she did this emotion. She did this. No, it was one hand, it was one hand. Where are you traveling and why, and why do you need me? a urinal? I have so many questions. Because you can't go to public bathrooms. We got a couple hour drive ahead of us. Oh. Where I just pee, pee in cups. Yeah, I was just like, you taught us to pee in cups, mom. I did. Oh my God, I cannot wait to film you peeing in a urinal, a portable urinal. I'm stuck in my car, so. You're gonna do it while you're driving? No, you're out. Pull over the center, you have to stand up to do it. Oh my God, you can pee while standing? It's really cool thing, I saw it. I've, I've seen I've it, like but I'm- I've tested a couple times, but I'm like, I can't test it. I don't think I can pee while I'm standing. Um, lies, what? you pee in the shower every time you get oh, into it. Oh, that's true, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna make a blanket right now, an arm blanket. I did this when I was pregnant with Flynn, and I love that blanket. It's pink though, so I'm gonna make a red one, because I need a red throw blanket for in here. This yarn had horrible reviews for this exact reason. God, I feel like every callus in my hand would get caught on that. No, it's really soft. Mm, my hands are really dry right now. I'm gonna like it. So I don't really remember how to do it. I feel like you make like a slip knot, and then you like put on your arm and do something. <gasps> Let's eat a pazookie. You want to make pazookies? Oh, I don't have vegan ice cream, I, I don't think. I have vegan butter. Great, let's put butter on a cookie. But I have vegan butter and I have... Vegan mayonnaise. Vegan right. mayonnaise is not something to put in a, a pazookie. Yeah, what? no, there, it's impossible to make me a pazookie. But I could eat a pazookie. You could. Colleen, you should eat a pazookie. Or just regular chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I'm gonna try to learn how to do this. I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, I'm trying to make a blanket, but Gus just walked over to Rachel. I just sat next to her and wants her to pet him. Like, what's happening? Is he purring? Yes, hard. What the heck is going on? Oh my God, I'm shook it. So apparently I'm making a blanket right now. It looks like it's gonna be really tiny, so. I don't know, guys. I think this is too small. That's not a blanket. That's like a. That's too small. Do I have to start over? Um, oh, guys, I'm frustrated because my blanket is going well. However, okay, ignore all the holes in it. It's supposed to look like that. Okay, relax. The tutorial I'm following, the lady told me to do it this big, but that looks too small to me. It only goes. See, the length is like from there to there. I feel like that's too small. I just feel like I'm gonna want it bigger than that. It looks like it's only like three feet. See, that's how big it is. I feel like I want it bigger, so I feel like I have to start over. That's so annoying, but I'm gonna start over. Okay, bye. Okay, it's a mess. <laughs> But I tried, okay? So it totally is, it's just a disaster. It's really skinny and really long. So after the second attempt of making the blanket, it still felt like it was gonna be way too short, like a really short, like thin blanket. And I didn't wanna restart again. So I just went with it and I was like, okay, it'll be a long runner for the back of the couch. So it looks like this. See, it's like a chunky blanket. It's double the size. I folded it in half. It like goes across the entire back of the couch. So I don't know if I like it. I might fold it in half again and just drape it here. Who knows what I'm going to do y'all. But I spent my night doing that instead of editing, which is what I should have been doing. Making responsible choices y'all. It's Christmas. Okay. Um, I need to poop. So I'm going to do that and I'll see you guys in my office. Hey everyone. So it's 12.30 and I definitely should have been editing tonight, but I just wanted to knit an arm blanket, guys. Like that's what I wanted to do. So it's really, really hard for me to get back on track. So I just need to get that fire under my butt. But today I woke up, I was gonna talk about this when I started vlogging today, but then I didn't. I woke up this morning just like, I just don't wanna do today. Like, do you guys ever get like that? Where you just like, 
I don't know, 2020 has been so weird. I just want it to be back to how it was like before the pandemic where you could go out and like go do things and people weren't wearing masks. I'm not saying that I wish people were doing that right now. I want everyone to be super, super safe because I want the pandemic to be over. So I'm not suggesting I think everyone should quit being safe. I just miss like before I miss traveling and I miss seeing all, all my family and all my friends and going to people's houses and going out to restaurants and going to the mall and going shopping and like just like stupid little stuff like that. I just miss it a lot. You know, the cases are like the highest they've ever been in America. And so it's like, oh, it's not, this isn't going anywhere. Like this, every month I think, okay, this will be the month where it starts to go back to normal. And then every month I feel like it's just getting worse and worse. And it's just really frustrating. And so I woke up today just feeling like, ugh, another day of just quarantine and the cases are the highest they've ever been in America. And it's just so disappointing. <laughs> So I'm sorry to be a downer like and um, a bummer to end this vlog on like I did have a good day but I did wake up feeling just kind of like down like poopy. I, you know then I had fun during the day and I did some fun stuff and and I did work a bunch on other stuff and um, hung out with Flynn a bunch and then now it's quiet again in the house and so now is when I like go back to like the same feeling I had when I woke up this morning and that's kind of a bummer. Anyway, I love you guys and thanks for always being there for me and encouraging me and just being the sweetest and supporting me. What a weird year it's been and I hope that eventually I can travel again and see you guys and give you hugs and perform and whatnot. But for now, I'm just gonna keep ordering stuff on Postmates and and editing videos that YouTube will hide from my subscribers. Okay, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.